Welcome back. It's time to honor the coach of the year from the ranks of Class 4A. Brad Hirsch of Aztec ended the school's 58-year championship drought by coaching the Tigers to a perfect season and the 4A title. Sam Jernigan coached the Goddard Rockets to a perfect regular season and a trip to the championship game. And you want more perfection? Kelly Lee led the Valencia Jaguars to a perfect regular season and trip to the 4A semifinal, but there can only be one, and that would be Aztecs. Brad Hirsch, the New Mexico Chevy Dealers.com Coach of the Year in Class 4A. He brought the city of Aztec their first title since 1953, a nice rebound for a program that fell short in the 2010 championship game. And like all of the categories tonight, the 4A Player of the Year was a tough choice. With all performing well enough to get the honor, the candidates are David Anaya, you know the big guy who rumbled over all of his opponents this season. Aztec 6'5 receiver Ty Atencio also on the list, not only leading Aztec to a perfect regular season, but like we just said, wrapping up the title. Noah Brown led Valencia to a perfect regular season, also ran over a lot of people just like David and I are on his way to this list. Class 4A Player of the Year is David Anaya. Anaya established himself as one of the most punishing running backs in New Mexico high school football this past season, running for over 2,000 yards. And when you put up numbers like that, no matter if you're playing Pee Wee, NFL, college, high school, whatever, those are great numbers. Great numbers for a big guy. Our Lawrence Gilligan is back with Anaya's final high school performance in Aztecs. Big championship win in 4A. Lawrence. Uh, yeah, thanks, Van. I don't think it went the way he thought it would. The Aztec Tigers hosting the Goddard Rockets, winning their first blue trophy since 1953. Aztec hosting Goddard. Let's take the highlights. Coming off a huge come from behind win against Valencia in the semifinals. Aztec strikes first. Adam Lucero finds Bryce Grady. And Grady, well, he's going to do the rest out there in the flats. Grady going the distance, shedding tackles. It's 6 nothing Tigers. But guess what? Goddard comes right back. And guess who? Running back David Anaya. Anaya gets in for the score. Goddard would retake the lead. It's seven to six. Rockets. Anaya has been known to bowl people over, and he did it all Saturday. He actually barreled over an official. Check this out. That is going to set up another Rockets touchdown. Ryan Green gets in for the score. Goddard looks to be in control with a 14 to six lead. But late in the second quarter, it's Aztec. Striking for six after this, David and I run all the way down before the goal line. Goddard still with the ball, and they're going to get in 4 6. Goddard takes a 14 to 6 lead, but late in the second quarter, it's Aztec striking for six. That's David and I getting in again for the score. All right, here we go, Aztec. In the second quarter, they're going to get in for the scores. 14 to 12. That's going to be the halftime score as Goddard leads by two. Second half was a wild finish. Goddard looks to have put this one away. But check this one out. Aztec is hanging in there. It's 21 to 12. Adam Lucero played huge for Aztec. But how about this guy? David Anaya for Goddard. He gets in for the score. Goddard clinging to a 27 20 lead. They're going to go for the extra point, but guess what? It is no good. Aztec is going to have a shot late in the fourth quarter. Aztec's Lucero comes right back with the touchdown, cutting the Goddard lead to just one point. A timeout is called, and Aztec head coach Brad Hirsch calls a timeout to discuss that they should go for two. And yeah, check that play out. The Superman in for the score. Aztec comes from behind to take the state title 29 to 28. It's the Tigers' first blue trophy since 1953. When that game ended, the high school careers of some key players went as well. NMPrep.com's Kyle Henderson is back with a preview of next season and some of the players we should watch out for in the Class 4A rank. Thanks, Lauren. Let's again start with teams to watch. We are choosing a team in football-rich Valencia County. Keep an eye on the Las Lunas Tigers for 2012 season. Quarterback Chris Rosinski returns along with players like Darren Gallegos, Jalen Chavez and Greg Wartman. Las Lunas looks to be the new Valencia County power in 2012. As far as players to watch, check out Adam Lucero out of Aztec. His body of work helped the Tigers finally get a state title for the first time since 1953. Cody French of Goddard helped the Goddard Rockets 12-1 on the season. French proved his worth as an athlete, helping David and I and the Rockets roll to nearly a perfect season. Those are the players to watch in Class 4A. Kicking it back to you, Van.